Hello everyone. Uh, myself Vikas Suruvi. I am assistant professor in CSC ML department uh, for maybe engineering. Today uh, our topic is uh, <clears throat> introduction to CSS. So what is uh, CSS? So CSS is a Pascal style sheet. It is a style sheet uh, language which is used to describe the look and formatting of the documents written in a markup language. In what is the markup language? Uh, markup language is HTML. HTML is a hypertext markup language which is used to create the static web pages. So, cascading style sheets provide an additional feature to HTML. It is provide the various styles of the web pages to create the styled user interface. It can also be used for any kind of um, XML documents like uh, plain XML or XUL. Cascading style sheet are divided into three words, cascading styles and sheet. What is the meaning of cascading? So cascading uh, means it's a procedure and styles uh, like uh, colors, uh, margin, fonts, uh, and uh, like uh, uh, different uh, uh, like uh, type of colors we are using uh, in headings in uh, background of uh, any table and paragraphs and body backgrounds. So these are the different uh, styles we can use in our style sheet. Then another question is why we use CSS? So CSS is used to solve the very biggest problem because before the CSS tags, uh, like uh, font, color, background, styles, elements, alignments, borders, and size had to be repeated on uh, every page. This was a very long process. So we can use cascading style sheet and it will become the long processor, an expensive processor for repeating same tags one by one. It is also uh, create the complexity of our code. So this is a solution of our uh, this type of complex problems. It is also so, uh, save the lots of times and provide the more attributes for our HTML page. For creating uh, the web page, we are using the basic uh, syntax of CSS. This syntax is defined the rules of selectors and it is divided into two parts. First one is the selector and second one is the declaration part. In this example, we are using the element P. So we can create the rules for our paragraph and in which we are using two properties. First one is font size and second one is color. So, what is the basic syntax of CSS and how we can define a CSS style? In the given example, paragraph, paragraph P is the element selector. And in between the curly braces, we declare the font size and color for our paragraph. So, font, graph, uh, font size is a property. And 24 pixel is the uh, value of this property. And we are defined two properties. First one is font size, and second one is the color in our in this example. So we can say that if we are going to create any rule in CSS, so we can use this basic selector in which we are divided. This is into two parts. First one is selector name and second one is declaration. So before declaration, we are using the curly braces and before the curly braces, we are defining the name of the element. So it is simply known as the basic element selector. And in this element selector, we are using two properties. First is font size and second one is the color in the given example.
तो वॉट इज दिलेक्टर सेलेक्टर इज इंडिकेटेड दिल एलिमेंट यू वॉन्ट टू बी स्टाइल इट कुड बी एनी लाइक पैराग्राफ हेडिंग टाइटल टेबल बॉडी एटसेट्रा एंड वॉट इज द डिक्लेरेशन डिक्लेरेशन इज ए ब्लॉक दैट कैन कंटेन द मोर एन वन एंड मोर देन डिक्लेरेशन एलिमेंट सेपरेटेड बाय दिस सेमी कोलम इन द गिवन एग्जाम्पल वी कैन से दैट द फोन साइज एंड कलर आर द टू प्रॉपर्टीज दैट इज सेपरेटेड बाय द सेमी कोलम and font size is the property and value of the property is 24 pixels color is the property and the value of the color is blue theek okay? hai so simply if you are going to declare any rules for any selector we are using this syntax next how many type of selector in css css selectors are used to select the content you want to style selectors are the part of css rule set it is divided into the following parts first one is the element selector previously we are creating the rules uh, we are creating the css rules for our paragraph this is the element selector if we are using the selector name as paragraph table body title heading all these are the tags in a table so if we are using the selector name as the element of a table this is the element selector another one is the id selector the class selector the universal selector and group selector in css element selector all the elements are the name of the name of the uh, html tags next in the given example we are again creating the uh, css tag uh, css style for our paragraph in this example p is the element selector p is the name of the selector in between the curly braces we are declared we are declared two properties first one is a text align and second one is the color and color is red when we are going to use paragraph in our html document the paragraph is align center and the color of the paragraph is red so we can change the align of the paragraph and also we can change the color of the paragraph in the given example in the given html example we are using uh, we are using the background color we are using the background color of the body in which body is the name of the selector and the background color of the body is light blue and another example is paragraph where the text is align in center and color is red so we can create two styles and two element selectors first one is body and second one is paragraph and we are declaring the simple two element two element selectors first is pad body and second one is paragraph in the next in body section we are applying these two selectors by default then after we compile this program the result is the background of page is light blue and all the elements are centered aligned and color is red so this is a simple example of element selector 